All right. Next up, we have Jackson uh, Street Brewery, hailing from Sioux City. Let's give him a big round of applause. Good afternoon. My name is Dave Winslow. I am the president and head brewer for Jackson Street Brewing. And we are really excited to be here to tell you about our dream of opening a brewery in downtown Sioux City. We've had two beers we offered. One is a watermelon ale. It's brewed with our own watermelon that we grew. We froze the pulp from last summer. It's got a real fresh flavor. And the other one is our double IPA. It is going to be our flagship beer. We've had a tremendous amount of feedback at our tasting events. People already want this at their at their bars, at their breweries. We just we can't give it to them yet. We need a little bit of help to get us going. A little bit about us. Uh, we started brewing beer and making wine about five years ago. We converted our yard in Sioux City uh, into an oasis of edible things, uh, fruits, vegetables. We've gotten into growing hops. If you go by our house in the fall, you'll see me up two stories uh, harvesting hops. And this just tells the story. We are we're obsessed with this. This is this is our dream, and we are making it happen. We also purchased a two-acre orchard a couple of years ago. We will be making hard cider from the apples and pears. There's tons of other ingredients we've been using in our beer and our wines as well that are going to make a real unique product that people will just love to, to taste the variations in those ingredients. And I will never get bored with brewing because you brew one of those main staple recipes over and over again, you want to change it up. People want to know, what can I try? What do you have new at the brewery? This is our location. We're at 607 Fifth Street in downtown Sioux City. It's in the heart of Sioux City. There are a few restaurants nearby. There is the Orpheum Theater, so we're going to have a lot of people coming in uh, in the evening to have a couple of pints for those events. Also close to a museum. And we want to see spin-offs from our business. We want to see other restaurants come along. We want to have a food cart out front. We are, will not be serving food. We will be strictly focusing on the beer because that's the recipe for success for all the breweries that we've talked to. And we have a lease for four years with an additional four years on our second lease that I'm very confident we will secure. And so within biking distance of my house, you can't beat that for your dream job. So our tap room and tasting room will feature Susie Iowa history, have a very relaxed atmosphere, very rustic feel to it. It'll be sort of like uh, as you go out in the countryside, what you can see in uh, country homes, pictures of our orchard, pictures of Sioux City landmarks. We'll have six craft beers on tap, and those will be rotating throughout each season. So what you come to have in the summer is what we grew within the last couple of months. Uh, we grow apricots for apricot wheat beer. We grow our own apples and pears for hard cider that's becoming very popular. And our hops that we grow, we've got 12 varieties of hops that we've experimented with growing, and we're going to keep ramping those up each and every year so that our tasting room primarily gets its ingredients from our orchard. Eventually, of course, as we expand into a larger brewery, we'll have to outsource a lot of those ingredients. We'll keep that true to our downtown location. We've been working on the brew house floor, supporting the, the heavy fermenters down in the basement. We started this in March. We made our cold room. That's what that framing is for. That's my dad. He's the engineer on this project. So he's doing a really good job making sure everything is up to code and ready to go for our opening this summer. There's the bar and the cooler. And this little window right there is an old patio door that you can look in as you're tasting our beer and where the beer is produced. And that's what people get really excited about. They, if people like craft beer, want to know how it's made, and want a local product as well. Our plumbing work has already begun. Uh, that began uh, last week. And we're tiling the floor. We're doing a lot of this ourselves. This is the floor plan. It's kind of pain to see here. But tasting room is in the front. We can hold up to 49 people. Uh, the brewing area is in the back. It's been approved by the city, and the federal government is almost done reviewing our permit. We were on the phone this morning for an hour or two, trying to work out just a couple of last-minute details. By next week, they're telling us we should have our license, our federal brewing permit. So things are lining up. We purchased our fermenters. We have our uh, brewing system on the way. It should be here within a couple weeks. Right after I get done with school, I'll be at the brewery just about every day. I work as a teacher right now, getting things ready to go. We'll sell our beer in pints, flights, snippers, growlers, and cakes. We'll eventually get into distribution. We can self-distribute our beer through our uh, tasting room and through our brewery. We were at tasting events, uh, five of those in the last couple of months. We were in a parade, we were at a craft beer event in Sioux City to, to get people involved and excited. We have 1,000 followers on Facebook and Twitter because we've been out and about in the community so much. We just celebrated our Kickstarter success, and we got just under $14,000 
That was on Monday night, so we're still pumped from that. We've got some momentum going. We had 100 backers when we finished that up. Our beer membership campaign is now at $1,600, and that will keep ramping up as we get closer. We've got tons of people who know we're going to buy a membership. They just want to uh, be a little closer to our opening day. The craft beer industry is doing awesome. 11% share as of 2014 of all beer. It was seven and a half the year before. Sioux City is ready to go for beer. 53,000 people drank beer in the last six months. They spent $50 million uh, the last year going out drinking beer. Our target market is over 6,000 people in that 25 to 34 year old range. Here's our budget. Each month will gross about $17,000. Our expenses, including a salary for me, will be about $13,000, so our profit will be about $4,100 that we'll reinvest in the company. We've already put $50,000 of our own cash into this business. We'll put more in as we get closer. We need about $17,000, and the number has climbed up a little bit here and there. We want to be open for Ray Bright. The timing is perfect. We get this money, that red tape for a, a loan will not be there. We need to buy some, some more equipment, a chiller to keep the beer cold. We need to buy the refrigeration equipment, the hoses, and we need to pay our plumbers and our electricians. That'll be over $20,000 for the contract. Round of applause, everyone.